Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during the season of Lent, we are focused on the cross that Jesus was nailed to in order to save us from our sins. But throughout Jesus' ministry, he often talked about the crosses that not that he would bear, but that the crosses we would bear. As followers of Christ, we are not above our master who went to a, a real cross, was nailed to it, and died. We too will have our moments of pain and suffering as we follow our leader. Jesus talks about those crosses and the importance that we accept those crosses um, in Mark chapter 8. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? What can a man give in exchange for his soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. Oftentimes, we try to live life in a way that we find comfort. We look for our comfort foods or comfort entertainment, our comfort lifestyle. We want to be to take away all stress, and so we search for that type of life. But as we follow God, we must realize that we're not always going to have a stress-free, carefree life. Everything isn't always going to be so great. And the reason for that is because our souls are that valuable. It's kind of interesting to think about that our soul being so valuable is the reason why we're going to have pain, we're going to have struggle. But it's true. Because we have an enemy, the devil, who is constantly scheming and planning to try to get you to lose that soul to bring your life to follow Him and to follow His way of living and not to follow the way of God. The devil wants you to turn away from God so that you do whatever your sinful nature desires, knowing full well that that means that if you are have abandoned God, walked away from Him, then you will end up where He is, and that is in hell. And he constantly is scheming. He's using his allies. He's using other unbelievers in the world to try to persuade you to join their way of living. But he's also even using your own sinful nature, which would love to follow the devil and his ways. The fact that the devil does this constantly, always roaming around like a roaring lion, shows he wants your soul showing how valuable it is to him. But Jesus also showed how valuable your soul is to him. Because the Son of God, the creator of all the world, took on human flesh and came down to suffer and die the death that, and hell that we deserve so that our souls can be in heaven. This world is, is, full, is, is filled with a war over you. You're that important. The devil and God are fighting over you. The good news is God is strong. And he is able to not only lead you through this life full of crosses and hardships that the devil and the world and our own selves will throw at us, but he's strong enough and gracious enough, and loving enough to lead us all the way to heaven because He won that for you by doing all the work. What good, is, what good is it if we give up our salvation to have an easy life? It's not good at all because all we have then is this life and then hell to look forward to. While following Jesus might cause pain at times, it always leads to a better place, a place that will be ours for all eternity, 
And that place is paradise in heaven with our God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for valuing our lives and our souls so much that you sent your Son to defeat our enemy, the devil. As that war between you and the devil continue, a war which you have already won, a war that is no match for you, but as it continues, as we face hardships in this life, keep us firmly in your grasp, reminding us that you have won the battle by sending your Son to die for us. Because of Jesus, we are winners. Because of Jesus, we have succeeded. Because of Jesus, we will prevail through all of our crosses. Lord, thank you for giving us the help necessary to carry our cross all the way to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And may the Lord bless your day.